YouTube, what is up guys? Today we are going to take a look at the Chaos Ballast Song. I got this off AliExpress. It is made by the company The One. It is an original handle design with a little bit of like a modified Nautilus blade, I guess. I don't know. Let's take a look at it. So, for $35 you are getting channel aluminum. Once again, an original handle design. Very circular, latchless. And then the blade is basically... They took a Nautilus, they put their, lo their logo on it, they added a bottle opener, and they removed a cut, one cut and made one cut bigger. So it's not exact, well, yeah, it's not exactly the same. But I don't know why if they went to all the trouble to making their own handles, why they wouldn't just come out with their own design for the blade too. I, I would imagine coming up with a trainer blade has to be like way easier than coming up with the handles. I don't know. I don't know why they went, if it was me, I would just do a blank one and have a cutout that was C, a cutout that was Y, a cutout that was O, and a cutout that was Z. And I would say Chaos, because it's the name of the ballet, apparently. But it's not on the ballet song anywhere. I don't even know why they came up. I don't know what that stands for. I know nothing about it. Kind of found it interesting now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, but let's get back into the ballet. So, um, we got some pros, we got some cons. Now, let's, let's, start off, uh, let's start off with the cons, why not? Okay, so first off, it's got a nice grip to it but it's not it, it does slip out of your hands on tricks even like rollovers behind the eight balls it, it does feel like it will rip out of your hands a little bit it is slightly blade heavy so some tricks are going to be kind of awkward on here some tricks are going to be better we'll get into that in a minute um, but as you can see like if i drop it the blade side falls slightly faster because it's a little blade heavy uh, and you do notice that uh, even when you just do aerials You'll notice um, that you'll when you're first doing it, you might overspin them. That's what I was doing. I had to slow down my aerials on here and get used to it because I'm used to more handle bias knives that are just it's super easy to aerial on. Now this one I can definitely do them, but it takes a little bit. It does have a nice bounce down to it, I must say. The bushings came perfect. Um, there's very minimal handle play. There's a little bit of tap right now just because I, I didn't lock tight anything. But out of the box, it was perfect. It came with an extra set of bushings also. So very impressed with that. There's only four screws that you gotta manage. Really, 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 really dig that. Um, I do also like the blade, despite the blade being uh, kind of a rip of a Nautilus, I do like how there's a bottle opener on it. But I do like how it's just freaking crowned absolutely everywhere. And um, the handles themselves, I must say, once again, look uh, awesome. The specs, I'll put on the screen. Um, because it is a little blade heavy, also things like chaplains will feel really awkward on here. Like, well, not awkward, you just can't go too fast. Like, because the weight of the blade will just send it flying. So just know that going into it. Um, but where this thing excels is it completely excels at fanning. Now, I'm not somebody that does a lot of fans. I, I don't really know, even know how to do many fan tricks. Um, but since I got this, just the one day I've got it, I've kind of started to get the basics of choker fanning just because look at how easy it is to get a fan going. Like, like I, you're literally barely spinning at all. The weight of the blade and just the slimness, roundness of the handles make it, make it just feel um, like it'll just kind of like almost fan right by itself. Um, I don't know how to choker fan. I still haven't watched a tutorial on it. But just the one day I've had this, I feel like I'm kind of starting to get the basics of... Uh, of how to do it, you know? So that's pretty neat. Um, if you're really into fanning, you wanna learn choker fans, pick up one of these. Uh, it'll make it super easy. Uh, I honestly think as soon as I pop in a tutorial and find out what I'm actually supposed to do, I think I should be able to do it because just how easy it is to get it spinning in general um, is just crazy. Like it takes literally no effort to get it going, um, to get it going there. So yeah, if you're looking for a belly to learn fans on, definitely check this out. Um, when you compare it to a standard belly, hold on here, I'll just throw this one in my pocket. I mean, it is very slim, um, very skinny, and because it is rounded, it almost makes the handles feel even skinnier. So you, I mean, you will have to get used to that. I noticed when I first got this, I was dropping it every two seconds. It just kept sliding out of my hands because I wasn't used to gripping onto something so small. Um, but that being said, once I got the hang of it, I'm actually quite impressed with it. I think for $35, this is actually a great buy. It comes in four different colors. Um, if they would have put an original blade on here, I think this would be like the one everybody would be raving about right now. Um, this is not going to be a valley that would replace you, like all your valleys in your collection. For you know, like it, it's not that well rounded. Like it's not like you know, it's not like a, whatever a rep, for example. They just do whatever with it. Like this one, certain tricks feel a little awkward. You know, but certain tricks feel extra good. So it's a great one to have in your training box or, you know, in your collection to just 
be able to, when you want to practice certain tricks, learn certain tricks, learn them on this, or just, you know, feel like doing those tricks, do them on here, you know, get them down really good, and then you'll be able to do them on whatever. So um, as a training tool, I think this one really, really uh, excels. And I think it's worth every penny of 35 bucks. I mean, there's not a lot of ballets in this price range, and uh, I think it's really cool. So thank you guys for watching. The link will be down below. I appreciate the support, and party on.